Hi, this is Jerry with CRM Innovation. We're a Microsoft Dynamics CRM ISV, and today we're going to be discussing and presenting our new um, add-on feature to our web to crm system, Profile Manager. web to crm is a solution that allows uh, CRM 4.0 and now CRM 2011 customers to integrate form submission from their website into data records in their CRM system. You can create a form for your website to push data into CRM for any type of CRM entity, uh, lead, contact account, custom, customizable, or system entity. There's no code required on the server, and it works with CRM online, on-premise, partner hosted. web to crm is licensed on an annual subscription basis per, per CRM organization and it goes for $495 a year. On the left hand side of this screen you see some of the built-in features in web to crm Those items that are underlined on the left hand side are features and functions of the product that uh, are greater than what's built into the internet lead capture feature that's available with the CRM online product. On the right hand side you're going to see a list of features that we're releasing here in the first quarter of the year and then some features that we're working on for the second quarter. There are two new features that will be coming out shortly, Profile Manager and the ability to upload attachments to a, f a form submission. Today we're going to be giving you a demo of the Profile Manager solution. Who needs Profile Manager? Well, basically anybody that wants to have their um, customers update form information in the CRM system. So job seekers, organization members, channel partners, or anybody that has a lead contact or account record, you're able to present their um, data from the CRM system to them. They can securely update or add to that information and submit the form and it will update your CRM system instantaneously. We do have free seven-day trials that are available, and I'll give you the link at the end of the presentation on where you can sign up for a free trial. Now on to the demonstration. Hello, welcome to a demonstration of the Profile Manager add-on to the Web to CRM Forms Builder. Profile Manager will allow your CRM contacts to self-manage their profiles in CRM. Profile Manager can be used with the following CRM entities that support email templates, leads, contacts, and accounts. Profile Manager doesn't require any code to be installed on the CRM server or customizations to be installed in your, into your CRM system. Integration with the company website is straightforward and the application provides standard form HTML to insert on a company web page for the purposes of user validation. So the first thing that we need to do is go to settings templates, email templates, and construct your email template that will be used for the validation email message that goes out to the contact. You see I've already created one right here. I've put uh, pound symbols in front of the name, no spaces in it. It's called Profile Manager Contact. Inside the body of the email that I've created in this template, of which you can put any content in, the, in there that you want, I've put in the slug or the variable where we will insert the hyperlink to the page that will pop up with the person's profile listed that they can then edit and submit. The key to this is that this needs to have um, pound pound at the beginning and the end for our system to find it. And the human readable that you put in there, the text that you put in here, click on this link, is the hyperlink text that the email recipient will see. I'm going to keep this on our screen so we can refer back to it while I log into the web to crm application. I'm going to pick my instance, my CRM instance that I'm going to authenticate to. It's retrieving a list of all the CRM entities. It's now got a list of the CRM entities and I'm going to create a profile manager form for the contact entity. I'm going to go create the form. It's going to retrieve my attributes and present the designer for me. Okay, we've it's launched the designer. 
I've got my CRM form up on my screen. It put my one required field for my contact form into the design area. I'm now going to grab some other fields and pull them over. City, state, zip, phone, email, and first name. I want first name to go up here. I look like I'm ready to go. All I need to do now is select this checkbox, Enable Profile Manager. It actually, uh, from a previous form that I created, it already put in the profile key and the template title. Normally I would just go over here to my form, look at my email at, uh, attribute field, grab the metadata name for it, email address one, I put it in there as my profile key, and then my template title comes from this template I created and I grab the title name right here. Basically, you can also see this in my uh, grid view of my email templates. That's all I need to do. Put that in there. Just go save my form. I'm going to call it Demo 1 Video. Hit Save. And save successfully. Click on Profile Login. It's going to then give me the code, the carry code, that I'm going to copy over to my website designer. That's good. This is going to be the validation form code. If I want to see exactly what my form is going to look like when it's presented to the recipient who wants to manage their profile, this is what it's going to look like. This form is actually hosted on our application server, so you don't have to put this form on your website any place. We automatically do that for you. At this point in time, I can take that profile login carry code that I grabbed. I can open up my website designer tool. I've got Dreamweaver open here. Actually, I've got the uh, page already created. I've already pasted the code into the designer right here, typed in the email address, did a little formatting to line up the input boxes, and all I need to do is publish it out to my website, which I will do right now. I'm done. Now I'm going to minimize this Dreamweaver, come back to my browser, and open up my published page. And what I'm going to do is type in an email address for a contact that's in the system. Type in the CAPTCHA answer, these 1 plus 6 equals 7, so that it keeps the robots off my system, and I'm going to hit Submit. Depending upon the nature and the responsiveness of your CRM system, it could take up to one to two minutes before we make this validation. If we're successful, you'll see a page right here that says, congratulations, it found your email address in the system, and an email is going to be sent to you. If it couldn't find you in the system, it would tell you that it could not find you, and it would redirect you and back to this page and automatically display this page. Let's flip back over to the CRM Online System 2011, I'm going to go to my contacts, go to contacts, and here's the uh, contact record that um, I was trying to validate. I'm Joe Customer here. So Joe Customers come to your site, they've done the validation. What we do is we connect to your CRM system, we do a merge with the template, and what you'll see under the closed activities here is the email record that was created and that would normally be sent out to uh, Joe Customer. In this case, it hasn't been submitted for delivery yet. We're not going to wait right now for the purposes of the video of waiting to come to our inbox. But you can see the exact message. You can personalize it with the information you want. In this case, I'm saying, hello, Joe, in response to the request, we're sending you this email so that you may update your profile in our database. If you didn't request this event, just ignore this email. Explains that they should click on this link, which I'm going to do. A new browser window is going to pop up, and Joe's information is going to be retrieved from your CRM system, and Joe can put in the rest of his information or edit anything he wants to do. And I'm going to type in some information. Typed in my information. And I'm going to answer the question here. If I can do the math correctly, there's the correct math. Four, I'm going to hit Submit. 
it's going to update Joe's uh, record in the system. Successfully been done. Now we're going to go back to Joe's record here. Go back over here to General. Do a quick refresh by hitting F5. And you'll now see the new information that Joe entered into his profile in the contact record. This is a great and simple way for your contacts to update their information, change of mailing addresses, or if any other attributes change uh, that they want to uh, update, such as skill sets, um, volunteer capabilities, uh, number of family members, things of this nature. Any attribute field that you have on the um, form, except the lookup field. We do not support lookup fields, but we do support uh, text fields, memo fields, pick lists, um, check boxes if you've enabled that kind of feature you're all set to go thank you very much for watching this demonstration have a great day I hope you enjoyed a presentation of the profile manager add-on feature to the web to CRM solution you can start your free seven-day full function trial which includes the base web to CRM solution profile manager and document upload at https colon slash slash web to CRM crminnovation.com if you've got any questions email us or give us a phone call at the numbers and email address shown on the page thank you